Is there something or someone you're taking for granted for right now? For example, maybe it's a friend or family member. Maybe it's actually a skill or a talent that you have. I mean, so often I meet people who are extremely talented in one area of their life who think, nah, I can't do that. That's not good. They don't even think about it. And sometimes it can be so random and might not seem to be an important skill, but later it turns out to be a vital one. For example, sense of direction. <laughs> when I was younger, I had perfect sense of direction. I could always navigate. I always knew where I was going. I never got lost. And it wasn't until I actually started taking up learning and memory skills that I learned how vital that skill really was in ways that I never could have imagined, never could have imagined using and utilizing that skill in order to help with my memory and retention. So sometimes, again, some of the things that we're strong at, maybe it's listening to others, holding space with them, being compassionate, smiling, lifting up their moods. And these things might lead us into careers. They might lead us into deeper skills or other skills that we might not have ever dreamt possible. But that's not just it. Okay, it's so easy, again, to take things in our life for granted and then to wonder why we're upset, to wonder why things aren't going our way, then to wonder why we're not experiencing more joy and more fulfillment. Maybe it's because we are. Maybe it's because we're getting everything we need. We just can't appreciate that we are. For example, maybe we're playing the game. We're scoring tons of points, but we're not keeping score. Or worse than we're not keeping score, we're expecting more. We can't just beat them by 10 points. We've got to beat them by 10,000 points. Now, isn't that crazy yet? Are you doing that right now with something in your life? Maybe you have an employee or someone that you're working with who's doing a great job. They're really busting their chops trying to please you, trying to work on that project, yet all you're giving them is grief. In fact, maybe you yelled at them and got into a little t tissy the other day because you thought that they should be giving more. Now stop for a minute. Do you appreciate that person in your life? And this could be anyone. Think of someone that you appreciate in your life. Someone who you very much appreciate in your life. And when you have that person in mind, ask yourself, am I taking this person for granted? Now your first instinct might be, no, of course not. I appreciate this person very much. I called them the other day and told them to have... 10 more essays on my desk in 5 hours. Seriously, are you taking them for granted? When was the last time you told them that you appreciated them? When was the last time that you recognized that you appreciated them? Think of someone else. Really search, dig in your mind. Maybe think of someone who uh, you wouldn't necessarily come so easily to mind. Someone who you wouldn't expect. Are you taking them for granted? Think about it. And this doesn't just have to be, oh, now you're going to call them and tell them how you feel about them. It has to do with you and your relationship with yourself. Because again, when we take things for granted, we lose our fulfillment. We sell ourselves short, not just them. We allow those things to go to waste. Because in essence, deep down inside, by appreciating and being grateful for everything in our life, we really milk it of its joy. For example, if you're going out to dinner and you're having the best dinner of your life and you say it, you say it especially to yourself, I'm having the best dinner of my life. And then you wake up the next day and you go, ah, you know, that was really nothing. You know, I've had, I've had better dinners than that. You know, no big deal. Um... And you think to yourself, oh, I should, have, I should have a dinner like that every day. Well, how are you going to feel? You're not going to feel so good either about yourself or that dinner. You're totally going to lose the gift. You're licking the gift force in the mouth and you're killing it. You're putting poison in. As opposed to just giving a big smile and hopping on and going for a little ride. Yet, why do we do this to ourselves? And we can do it so often. We start feeling entitled like... 
oh, I deserve this. I deserve to be treated to these excellent and fabulous dinners every single night. I remember, uh, I believe Andrew C.K. or Louis C.K., I forgot his name, had a joke where he basically said, everything is awesome, yet we take everything for granted. He was talking, telling a story, and I don't want to ruin the joke, you should go see it yourself on YouTube, about a person on a plane taking something for granted. I highly recommend you check this out. Hopefully, if I, uh, if, if I, uh, if I have the time, I'll post a link on, this, uh, uh, on the description here. But it's such a funny video. It's such a funny routine because we can all understand it. Something happens in our life. We adapt to it. We get this new present. And now, all of a sudden, we want it all. So someone says, they give us a taste, and then we want the whole kitchen. They give us an inch, and we want a foot. And we demand it. Not just, we want it, we demand it. You know, that's why my mom often says, no good deed goes unpunished. It's because we do something good for someone, and instead of them appreciating it, they take it for granted, and then by taking it for granted, they demand more. And how does that make us feel? Not very good. We can only give so much. And we can only accept so much. And the truth of it is, we'll never be satisfied unless we begin to be grateful. Unless we cease to take things for granted. Unless we stop being entitled and expecting things as opposed to just accepting things. So much love, many blessings. Come to terms with what you've taken for granted and learn to be grateful for it now.